Something is within us all. It's in the animals around us. It's in the trees and the leaves. It's in the land, in the water, and in the air. No, it's not love. It's plastic, and none of us can get it out. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to topics in simple English. Today, we're talking about microplastic and nanoplastic. Plastic is a material we make. It is strong. It doesn't change. It lasts for many years. Microplastics are very small pieces of plastic we find in the environment. Nanoplastics are even tinier. So small that we cannot see them with our eyes. We don't often notice microplastics and nanoplastics around us. However, together they may weigh up to two hundred thirty-six thousand tons in the seas of our world. Where has this much come from? We make micro and nanoplastics for our beauty and hygiene products, including makeup. Face wash, soap, and even toothpaste. Most come off of our clothes and plastic containers, such as bottles and plastic bags. Nearly all plastic that stays in the environment for a long time produces micro and nano plastics. These tiny pieces of plastic seem harmless. What's dangerous about them? They're so small. In the environment, plastic does not just disappear. Plankton, very small animals that live in the water, often mistake micro and nano plastics for their food and eat them. The plastic makes them fall, but it is not food. Eating too much plastic will kill them. Marine animals like fish that live in the water then eat the plankton. And the plastic moves into the animals' bodies. Scientists found that microplastic causes liver damage in fish. Fish with damaged liver cannot take toxin or dangerous chemicals out of their bodies. Oysters that eat plastic cannot have many children. We eat fish and other things from the sea, which is now polluted by plastic. Crabs, sea snails, lobsters, sea urchins, rays, octopuses, shrimps. Plastic is in all of our favorite seafood. More than ninety percent of the salt we eat is also made from the sea, and contains large amounts of plastic. On land, we are not safe either. Eighty percent of our tap water. And ninety-three percent of our bottled water contain micro and nano plastic. Land animals drink water too. At this very moment of your watching this video, you and I may be breathing in plastic. Micro and nano plastics from factories are small and light, easily carried in the air. There's more plastic in the dust floating in our house. Than in the food we eat, scientists even found them far north in the Arctic snow, and know our atmosphere is polluted by them. The closer we look at things, the more plastic we find. We have yet to understand the full effects of micro and nano plastics on humans, but we do know that nano plastics can get into our cells. Things that make up the human body, and when inside, they will do us no good. The types of plastic we use to make water bottles and package our food can cause liver damage and create carcinogens, chemicals that cause cancers. Plastic may make it harder for men to have kids. Babies within their mothers. Are in the greatest danger 
of being malformed, meaning the babies won't look normal. The problem with plastic is that it will become more serious in the future, as millions of tons of plastics are dumped into the sea every year. The levels of micro and nano plastic in our water, food, and air will only increase. Then why do we still use plastic? It's cheap, it's convenient, it saves time. This may not be true in the future. It may be cheap for us now, but it will be costly for our children, who will have to filter plastic out of everything they eat and drink. It may be convenient for us now, but our children will have to clean up millions of tons of plastic bags and water bottles out of their rivers and seas. We save time. By taking it away from our future sons and daughters, we will leave them a planet our grandparents did not leave us—a planet full of plastic. The only solution we have is to change slowly. Plastic, for all its harmful effects, is still widely used all around the world. A sudden ban on plastic is impossible. However, the amount of plastic we use every year can be reduced up to 100 kg for every person. A backpack or a basket, instead of plastic bags, can also carry coffee cups or the groceries we buy from the shop. Metal bottles, instead of plastic bottles, can save us lots of money and keep us healthy. Sorting out plastic before throwing it into trash cans makes it easier to be recycled and to not end up in the seas. There are many things we can do to reduce micro and nano plastics in our world. Let's choose one and start today. That's all for our topics in simple English. I'm Kieran Wynn. Please stay safe and stay hopeful. See you next time.